Bay Area parents lining up to get their kids vaccinated. It's been hard um, protecting them without with just using masks, but now we have the vaccine. I'm excited because then my mom says then I can go to Chuck E. Cheese <laughs> so that I can be safe and so that I won't get sick or anything. I'm excited, but I'm not a fan of having a needle in my arm. So. <laughs> We can all understand that. KPIX 5's Wilson Walker is live in Antioch. Wilson, this is a day that many parents have been waiting for. Absolutely. You know, I'll tell you, covering the pandemic, we're, we're often around these, these clinics. And I, over the last couple months, they have often been pretty sleepy places. You can swing by trying to find somebody, see what's going on. And they're often empty. That was not the case today. To leave school early, and I was a little nervous, but I'm really excited now that I have my first dose. For the first time in a long time, getting vaccinated might have meant standing in line today as a lot of kids skip school with their parents to take a step closer to the end of the pandemic. We got to keep the kid from school today for the vaccine. It's a big, it's a big thing for him. That was, he's always afraid of something happening. You know, being inoculated and a, and a parent, it was very hard to have the chink in the armor be the youngest in my family. So from Richmond to Antioch, families race to grab the first appointments offered by the county. Okay, this is very exciting for us. We've been waiting a long time. Charlotte's um, condition keeps keeps her indoors during this COVID time. So this is exciting that we can start going back out again and she can go back to school. For Amanda Metter and her daughter Charlotte, this day was long awaited and a tremendous relief. Because I got to go places again and it's just really exciting. And the excitement is enough to fill appointments in some locations. I saw later in the day that the appointments were available and I tried it and it was really hard. Um, there were some really far away, so. so um, all my friends, I'm pretty sure, are getting vaccinated like this week or like, next week. A wider rollout is coming, including dozens of school campuses as vaccination sites. But for a lot of families, this was something that could not wait. Pins and needles, very exciting for us today. It's the next step. Way to go, Charlotte. Now, uh, Contra Costa County is talking about 30 to 35 schools that will host vaccination sites. That's, you know, those details are still coming. Uh, and Liz, late today, you know, we heard other little details from around the Bay Area. Solano County is going to have the, the child vaccine at the fairground starting on the 10th. You know, so this is sort of coming together sort of day by day as mm -hmm. all these counties and cities figure out how they're going to disperse this on top of everyone's pediatrician, which has probably, you know, also got a phone ringing off the hook. So. Sure really just getting started, right? Yeah, and it feels a little bit like when the vaccine first came out last spring where there was a high demand and yeah, everybody's same. kind of figuring it out and it'll get there. It just is, can be frustrating in the beginning. Yeah, give it a day, give it a couple days, then give it a week. Yeah, there you go. Good advice. Thanks, Wilson.